Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis and it is July 3rd. Just got done sweating my butt off doing a home project, but I did want to get this to you guys before reset happens on Tuesday, give you a couple days to hopefully catch this one. And Gunsmith Banshee 44 has a couple of weapons this weekend, so about 48 more hours before reset on Tuesday, you've got to get a couple of these. Now, there's a main shout out that I want to give first is Ogma. Cool guy, definitely did a video on this one. I wasn't surprised because I know it's one he's been waiting on. And the main reason is the unique perk combination. You can get Demolitionist kills with this weapon, generate grenade energy, activating your grenade, reloads from reserves. And then on top of that, you've got Wellspring, kills with this weapon, generate ability energy. So kills with this weapon, generate grenade and ability energy at the same time. So depending on what ability is empty, you'll get more in a certain place. If you've only got your grenade empty, this is, should in theory be at least double dicking, dipping. I don't know if it will stack. Uh, completely, but I know cool guy was ex excited about this one, so I'm going to say that there's definitely going to be a benefit to having both of these. In theory, it should. You've also got range on this one with some stability, a reload masterwork, depending on what you're doing. You can actually go nearly max range as well because you've got extended barrel, and you've also got extended range on this one with accurized rounds, and you've got, you know, Amalon fl fluid dynamics, depending on if you pair with this one, higher reloads at the top and reloads here should have some decent reloads. So if nothing else, I know pulse rifles are good this season. They're also good for barrier weapons and typically solar pulses with some of the burns on like lost sectors and nightfalls. All I can say is just pick this thing up. The only thing I would say it doesn't have is like adapted munitions. So you still might want to look for one of those as well. But outside of adapted munitions, this is a very unique role. So I suggest picking that one up for sure. Now, the crate is another one I wanted to point out. Is it a god roll? Not specifically, but I have used this one in lost sectors when you need to specifically take care of overload champions because it's auto rifle or SMG and Vice Stinger is one of those ones that's going to allow you to basically put more bullets into the overload champions without having to worry about it. Now, one for all in high level, like master lost sectors or things like that, if you just like spray real quick and hit like three enemies, then for about 10 seconds, you've got that 30% damage bonus, which is huge. Then if you get that 30% damage bonus and you're working on little enemies, subsistence will allow you to shoot longer if you get kills. And then also Vice Stinger is going to allow you to shoot longer. So this is a really nice synergy of just hitting three targets, getting bullets back, getting more bullets back, being able to unload more into overload champions. Then you can either go a pendant mag, which isn't hurting reload speed, so not too bad. Or you can go for range if you want to get that one boosted up a little bit. And even more range here if you really want to go for that one. Take care of some, some of the handling down here. If you feel comfortable, you can leave it on recoil. Up to you. But you've got these three right here with definitely some... A booster range and some handling and recoil nice variety there definitely one to consider not a bad one to pick up when it's coming to like lost sectors and things this is a fun little combination here between vice and this alone pair this in the middle with hitting three random targets you can put in a lot of work the nod not really too much per se in my opinion it's going to be that exciting this will drop the range with boost stability you got stability and range here this is one of those weird ones that doesn't have a masterwork on it. That stuff's kind of broken. And technically, Tunnel Vision and Sympathetic Arsenal reload together. If you get a kill, then you reload. You're going to have target acquisition aim down sights for a short time. Also, reloading your other things at the same time. I still just don't think this is a great role either for PvE or PvP that's really worthwhile. Now, this one is interesting. I didn't want to point this one out. You've got range, stability to range, and range. Then, you've got Frenzy, which is going to give you damage, handling, and reload speed. And then if you're at the top of the magazine, you're going to get faster reload. And then this weapon has increased reload speed and stability for the top half of the magazine. So you can get a lot of range here. You can get stability from Amalon. And then Frenzy is going to be insanely fast reload speed. So you're going to have stupid fast reload on the top of the magazine pretty much the entire time you've got this. And Frenzy is going to give you a nice consistent damage bonus if you're in target or if you're in combat. And overall, this is just, it's not, um, it's a, it's a fun role. I think you'd use just to like start mowing stuff down in a, a PVE situation. I don't think this is going to win a whole lot of PVP fights per se, but that really fast reload speed. If you got a whole clip that you want to get through, keep your damage up, have decent range on it. This is not a bad role to consider. And all of this stuff right here working for reload speed is actually kind of magical. So definitely another one I would consider picking up. So, I mean, literally you've got crate, you've got Snorri, you've got Ogma. Ensemble and Explosive Light, probably not too exciting. Stats for All and Adrenaline Junkie is fine. I mean, you've got Augmented Drum, you've got Stats for All, so you get Handling, Stability, Reload, and Range. Technically, you'd start getting damage bonuses if you stack this one up. Grenade Launchers, I feel like, now have been overshadowed by basically everything else. They've had their heyday, and now they are in need of a buff or other things are need to get Brock back down. 
So grenade launchers, sadly for me, are just not doing it right now. But those three, the crate, the Snorri, and the Ogma, all three are actually quite good. Um, in my opinion, definitely got some unique cases where I think all of those could see some action. So if you did like this video and feel like you're picking up one of these, drop a like on the video. You can also just say hello in the comments if you want to as well. If you want to find me on Twitter, Twitch, it's Ivantis. Right here on YouTube, though, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell, and I will see you guys very soon. If you are YouTube members or Patreon subs, thank you for the extra support. Have a good one. I'm going to go see Top Gun Maverick for the second time. If you haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. So I will see you soon.